Australia is ready for clear the air talks with Qatar Aviation Authorities. Qatar Energy and Hyundai ink a massive deal. A community in Florida receives a major donation from Qatar. And finally, Qatar's young footballers exit the Asian Games. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Australian officials are set to schedule a meeting with Qatar Aviation Authorities to discuss their government's controversial block on additional flights. The latest development comes after Qatar Airways representatives appeared at Senate inquiry hearings this week. They said the carrier was made aware of the decision via the media and has yet to be given a reason by authorities. Australia is facing heat after the decision to deny Qatar Airways more flights, sparking a major debate in the country. Over in South Korea, Qatar Energy and Korea's Hyundai Heavy Industries have inked a 14.2 billion Qatar Real deal for the construction of 17 brand new LNG ships. The mega deal was signed on Wednesday during an official visit by Qatar Energy CEO and Energy Minister Saad Chariba al Kabi to Seoul. The deal marks the beginning of the second phase of Qatar's LNG ship acquisition program, the largest of its kind in the industry's history. Now, in Florida, the Bob Woodruff Foundation has received $5 million from Qatar to help locals rebuild from recent natural disasters. Tampa Bay and Southeast Florida have been hit by multiple disasters this year, including hurricanes that have caused massive damage. The donation will be split between multiple organizations by providing financial assistance, housing, food, and more. And finally, Al Annabi's under-23 team made an exit in the round of 16 at the 2023 Asian Games in China, losing 1-0 to the hosts. Team Qatar conceded early in the game, losing out on a goal in the third minute of the match. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.